Now this video only applies to the business owners out there because I'm gonna walk, be walking you through my method to hiring marketing agencies without wasting any unnecessary money. I'm gonna be walking you through kind of my four steps from research to knowing my numbers to the questions to the conversations I have with the marketing agencies I work with to help me take my business to the next level revenue and profit wise, stay tuned. Now I don't play around in my business. I don't like losing money, but and I don't like doing a lot of work. I don't have any employees that work for me. I have zero employees that work for me, and we do 3.4 million dollars per year. Now to be able to do that sort of numbers, you have to have a lot of people that I mean even though they're not my employees, I need a lot of help. And that's why I work with a lot of different marketing agencies to help advertise my company, manage other aspects of all the stuff related to running a business here. Now, the way I start is I start everything with competitor research. I don't hire a company unless I know they're working with my competitor who's more successful than me. Everything in my business is around knowing who my competitors are that have bigger businesses than me and just ruthlessly, ruthlessly copying everything they do until I'm at the same level or better than them. Part of that ruthless copying means I am figuring out what ad agencies or what marketing agencies or what development agencies or what support agencies my competitors are working with. And the way I do that is pretty old school, frankly. I go I, I go to conferences and I go to meetups and I go to industry events and I'm talking. Or, or just I'm talking on Skype, but I talk with different people in the industry to figure out who's working with who. I ask people for recommendations. Who are you working with? If I see somebody who has some ads I like, I say, who are you working with to put those ads up? Now, running a business is the same as like affiliate marketing. In affiliate marketing, you are you're basically copying, you know, the best way to do affiliate marketing is to copy ads that are already working for somebody else. It's no different in business. You can just simply find a business that you like and copy as many aspects of it as you can or that you can afford. It's not difficult. You can hire people's employees from them. You can hire their agencies from them. You can do anything. You can to 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 get what whatever your competitor is doing, whatever relationships your competitor has, whatever media outlets or key figures that are in that company, you can always find a way to get some of that for yourself either by hiring the same hiring the same agencies I found is the lowest hanging fruit to literally stealing your competitor's business. So as I said, I talk with a lot of my competitors, I do research one other way that I found with mediocre results is actually looking up different ad agencies and seeing what, you know, seeing who they post as client testimonials. Sometimes you'll see somebody post a client, you know, uh, post a client testimonial and they'll be a they'll be one of my competitors and then I'll try to work with that agency. I'll at least test them out. The next important thing in terms of hiring a marketing agency or a freelancer, or wh whoever you're hiring to help your business is knowing your numbers, okay? Know what you're willing to spend with that freelancer or that agency or that consultant. Know what numbers you need to back yourself into. Now for my business, I'm willing to spend up to $20,000 per marketing agency I work with. But again, I'm only looking to work with a very specific type of marketing agency and they need to have been working with one of my competitors and produce results for them. So that narrows the field a lot, but if I know my numbers, I know I'll never lose money. My risk tolerance in my business is $20,000. It may be different in your business, but I stick very firmly to my risk tolerance in my business. I'm willing to spend $20,000 to test out a new uh, agency and then I will measure if I got results or if I didn't. Usually I either lose a lot of money or I'll make a ton of money. There's generally no in between. There's generally no judgment calls. It's either A or B. Now before I work with an agency, I come prepared with a lot of questions, okay? You want to ask whoever you're thinking of working with a lot of questions to see if they're a good fit. 
Now, the questions I ask people are, these are some of the following questions. I ask them if they are doing the work themselves or if they are working with contractors, if, they, if the people they're working with are in-house, meaning in an office. I ask the people if they're employees, first of all. An employee means they're working only for this person or if they're contractors. And if some, if a ad agency I'm hiring is working with contractors, it means the people they're working with can work for anyone. I give preference to people who are working with employees, meaning that they, it means the agency has a stable business and they are working exclusively with certain people that, you know, I wouldn't be able to work with otherwise. The other question I ask people is how much is their largest client spending with them per month? Or a variation of that is for non-marketing agencies is how, what are the results that their largest client is getting with them as a direct result of their work. I wanna know what the top level of this agency is, what the potential I have to gain from working with a particular marketing agency. Now in my business, the way I manage my business is I only look at opportunities that can potentially double my business. Again, I'm not interested in working with a marketing agency who can make me an extra $100,000 a month. I'm only interested in working with marketing agencies that can make me an extra half a million dollars per month in gross revenue. That's very important to me. So that mean, that narrows the field and that means I'm only working with agencies in certain fields of marketing. Now, I also ask the agencies I'm working with, what, who are their other clients that are similar to me? Again, this is sort of a loaded question because oftentimes I've already done my research and I already know or have heard of that they are working with a similar client to mine or one of my competitors. I look to verify that information and see if they actually name that they're working with a competitor of mine because that's important to me. Again, I want to work with people who are doing effective advertising in the same field as me. I don't like taking risks uh, and I don't like taking unnecessary risks. Other questions I ask are what is the role of the person I'm talking to or what is the role of the owner of the agency? Are they doing any hands-on work themselves or are they sort of just an account manager or am I going to be handed off to an account manager and be working with other employees? I just like to have an idea of it doesn't matter to me whether or not the person is, you know, that I'm talking to, you know, the salesperson or the owner of the agency necessarily does the work but I like to have a clear idea of the roles of everyone in the agency so I know who's doing the work and who's not doing the work. Other questions to ask are the fee structure. I usually leave that to the end because people are kind of like iffy about the fee structure. Now, um, usually that, you know, the cost of working with somebody is like the biggest factor that people are scared about. For me, cost is, it's a very simple decision for me. It's either you know, I'm, I, I come prepared. Remember, I'm coming to the table with a number in mind. I know I'm willing to tolerate up to spending up to $20,000. So as long as it's under that, I say, yes, we can do this. If it's over that, I say, no, I can't do this unless the cost is this. And I leave it at that. It's very simple. I like keeping my decision-making to binary decisions. I don't like having you know, oh, you know, I, I didn't get a good enough feeling or I did get a good enough feeling. The way I do decision making is just binary. Either it falls within my parameters or it doesn't and it, it, makes, it makes life a lot easier for me that way. Now, last but not least, you know, once you've prepared your questions, I gave you a couple, have a conversation with the agency that you're uh, interested in hiring uh, or the freelancer, I guess you could say, if you're working with freelancers. Um, Generally, how I do conversations is I say, okay, I, I like setting a structure or an agenda to a conversation because otherwise, when you're hiring somebody new, the conversations can ramble on. I, do, I used to do this the same when I hired employees. I would say, um, okay, we, you know, let's, let's structure the conversation this way. I'll tell you a little bit about myself and my company and what our goals are. You tell me a little bit about your, yourself, your company, and what, you know, what, what a good client looks like to you and then we will go, uh, then I'd like to discuss, you know, some questions I have for you and how we can potentially work together. That's how I structure my conversations. Me, you, working together. 
and that tends to keep conversations from going on wild tangents that'll end up wasting both people's time and wasting your time or another person's time is just generally disrespectful. So I hope this helps you out, whether you're looking to hire a marketing agency for your business or a freelancer or a consultant, uh, I hope my knowledge here helps you get a little better understanding of how you might be able to uh, uh, approach hiring companies or freelancers without wasting money. Now, if so, give this video a like, or if you have any questions for me um, or, or ideas for future teaching topics, post it in the comments below. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about what I do for a living to make my income online, I do what's called affiliate marketing. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll get a free course on how to do affiliate marketing. Speak soon. Thanks for tuning in. See you in my next video. And make sure to hit that notification icon as well to be updated about my future videos.